I have been asked by several people if I can show my kit. I will only show you my kit on one condition. I want you to promise me to not feel swayed or bullied or anything by any other painter to change your kit for a reason that makes it worse for you. I want a very small kit. It fits my needs and it's what I like. I've downsized over and over and I feel like my kit is my racing bicycle where every ounce matters. I want to have only what I absolutely love in my kit and that's what works for me. This is actually a, a toolbox um, that you can pick up from a hardware store. I'll take you through every single one of these things that I love that I can't live without, but don't feel any shame or embarrassment by having a kit that is smaller than somebody else's or having a kit that is bigger than somebody else's. Your kit is going to be as unique as you are. Here's how it looks all put together. So it weighs roughly 11 pounds, which is really nice for me when I'm pulling things in and out of a car and across the big field. I have a nice big pocket over here on the side where I keep my paper towels. I just love having paper towels suck out all that water that fast. So I have my water bottle spritz for when I'm loading a sponge. I have a little Altoids case, and many of you have noticed that I wrap my thumb, and so this is the perfect size for a strip of KT tape. It's completely saved my career, <laughs> um, and it fits in my little Altoids box, so. This is a little necklace bracelet uh, that my daughter made for me, and I love having something in my kit that can remind me of something outside of what I'm doing. Things that kind of connect you, that can ground you, because there are going to be people that are mean to you. And being able to have something that's just kind of tucked away there that reminds you there is a world outside of the moment you're in, um, I find very grounding. Plus it looks cute, you know. This is where I keep my stencils. Um, I like to have them protected, but really easy to access. So this is just a reusable pouch and they pull out. This one doesn't fit, so it's there by itself. I also have a comb. It's kind of nice to have things like a comb, a chapstick, fingernail clippers, because I find that a little distraction in a long day of painting becomes a major annoyance. You know, I'm painting a tiger and oh, my hair looks so bad and my hair still looks so bad and my hair, you know, just take a little moment, get yourself a bobby pin, smooth down that bump or whatever it is and remove that distraction. I'm um, on the opposite side pocket. I keep my brushes and let me give you a look. So most of these are low Cornells, um, but if you look at my flat brushes, I have a large one and a small one. If you look at my filberts, I have a large one and a small one. If you look at my angle brushes, I have a large one and a small one. If you look at my petal brush, I like to carry a large one and a small one. And now we're to my rounds and I have a large one and a small one. I have one for both the white and the black of each. If it's really late and I'm exhausted and I'm trying to get out fast, I love having a brush holder that can just take all of my brushes at once. So I can just throw them all in here and then they're safe enough until I get the chance to take better care of them. It's important that your brushes either dry flat um, or that, that they stand up right. You don't want to crush the tips. So being able to know that my brushes are standing up always is great. So there are my brushes. All right, I'm going to spin this around and show you the back. So I have uh, a pocket for my business cards. And then I have a pocket where I have the business cards for the restaurant that I paint at. In that pocket, I also have some lip gloss that I use to put on the kids' lips because as pretty as the paint is, it tastes terrible. And so I try and use lip gloss and do glitter lips instead. This is Y Body's uh, white glue here, and that just fits right there. Then this is a water brush. And so as you spin it around, that water comes out. I also like to have a pen on me because I get asked for a pen and I hate saying no I don't have one so I keep one in my kit and then it's really nice to have a small glitter tattoo set with my face paint. Every once in a while you'll get a kid that they're going to a swimming party right after um, and to be able to say yeah I've got a glitter tattoo let's do that. So I have my glitter tattoo brush and some loose glitters there and then in the big compartment I have some sponges and I have a second bag where I can keep things like dirty sponges and my water container. 
These are my festival glitters from Art Factory. I like to use multiple colors in a single design, but it's complicated to unscrew the top and then to remember to screw it back on so it doesn't dry out. And this, it, it's so easy to just, I start with that color and then I'm gonna add some of this and then I'm gonna add some of this and I love it. But this does dry out. These are not airtight seals. So I normally keep this in a Ziploc bag. Here are my one strokes. Um, again, I love having one strokes that I can hold it upside down and say, pick one to a kid. The other reason I like this is it keeps my table really clean. I don't know if you've experienced, but when you have one strokes that have individual lids for each one, it gets pretty messy. And I like to be able to keep my speed up. And with this, I know exactly where all of my colors are in relation to each other. Of course, black and white we use so much of, I like to have a large one of each. So these are both DFXs, 45, 90 grams. And I really like having ones that can link together. It helps them not rattle around as much. They don't get lost, they stay good. Here is a Ben Nye bruise palette. This is an oil-based paint, but I really love having this bruise palette because a kid that wants to look beat up or if I'm doing a zombie, I wanna be able to smear the color into their skin really well. As you're familiar with my videos, uh, you'll see that I use star blends white a lot. It's the only star blends I carry with me, but I keep a white one. I keep the applicator in a Ziploc bag and I just tuck it into one of these pockets. Okay, let's make some room. So let me show you what's in the middle here. Of course, we need a mirror so that the kids can see their beautiful face paint. So I've got one of those. Um, I like to have one that is at least this big or larger because I hate the, you know, time spent in the chair with the kid trying to look. When I say, hey, look at your face, I want them to be able to immediately see. I also like to have my marketing material with me. It's really nice when a parent says, oh, do you do birthday parties to say, sure do. I also have my henna cards. I find if somebody's asking me about henna, I would rather hand them a henna card than a face paint card. So I like to keep them separate. On my main business card, I have everything listed that I do, but on a specialized card like this, sometimes I keep it focused. So this is actually a case for gel pens, but it's made of metal, it's the perfect size, and it's not very expensive. So this is what I use. These are my base colors. Um, most of these are tag. I've got a couple DFX lids mixed in, but it's all tag paint. Again, it's awesome to have a whole bunch of colors. Of course it is. But when you are trying to work fast, if you have 12 different pink rainbow cakes, um, that's going to take some time as you're picking exactly which one or the kid is picking exactly which one. Um, I like to try new brands. I like to make sure that I'm not just pigeonholing myself or keeping my kit limited. I don't use a whole lot of really dark colors, but especially when you're like petal loading and stuff, it can be really nice. So here you've got the teal, the blue, the purple, and then three different pinks that I can just mix and blend and get those really vibrant dark colors. One of the Wolf Brothers said once that he doesn't like to hang around when it's time to go, it's time to go. And I loved that idea. And so once I'm ready to go, um, all I have to do is just close this up and put the extra couple little things. You can see how quickly I put that back, put in my marketing material grab my two things that are ready to go, and, and I'm cleaned up and ready to go. I have a kit that takes care of my needs and it has everything in it that I need and even some things that I only might need. I've heard painters call their kits their kitchen sink. You know, they pack everything in it and that's just not my style. So don't feel pressure to have more than you want. This is what I want. But I also wanna make sure I have a guest room. I wanna have an extra pocket or things for those extra little bits that I wanna try and see if I love. And if I do, they become a part of my kit. And if I don't, I'll eventually take them out and try something else that's new. So thanks for the curiosity. Thanks for taking the time to visit with me and to see what makes my painting my painting.